welcome to day 11 of the Vegan Weight Watchers Challenge. So I am making something called Vegan Spanish Beef Stew. This is from Simple Vegan Blog. Um, I've been trying to find, and it's been somewhat difficult for me, I've been trying to find Weight Watchers recipes to make, seeing as this is a Weight Watchers Challenge, let's find those recipes. Um, man, there's not very many ones that are vegan out there, and um, the ones that are, they're good. Some of them looking um but anyways i'm still working on it. i'm still trying it's only day 11 so i've got 20 days left i need to find some more recipes but this one looks fantastic i don't know how many points it's going to be um so i'll have to figure that out for you after the fact and let you know but i can do that so basically you want um the first thing is you're supposed to use textured vegetable protein which tvp i don't actually i don't have that um but it's just a soy product so i'm just using some soy curls and I put two ounces, you're supposed to use two ounces of textured vegetable protein. So I used, put two ounces in here, I weighed it, um, although the soy curls are free. So you should be able to use as much of that as you want. Um, anyways, so I put some in some water. I also put a tablespoon of tamari on them to soak them, which is what you were supposed to do. And when they, when I get done and I drain the liquid off of them, I'm going to chop them into little pieces. So they're like little beef chunky things. So anyways, that's step number one. You wanna get that and you wanna let that sit for like 15 minutes. And then the next thing that you want to do is get some garlic, which you need two cloves of garlic, which I'll just get garlic and dump it out of the container. Um, one half of an onion, finely chopped, two large carrots chopped into bite-sized pieces, and a medium potato chopped into bite-sized pieces. So that is my half of an onion, a couple carrots, and a potato. Um, so you put this on the stove with your garlic, and you cook this in over medium-high heat with a little bit of water for five minutes, stirring occasionally. And then we're going to start adding ingredients like one at a time. So after that, you're going to put in some flour, which it calls for two tablespoons of flour, whatever kind you want. I'm just going to use uh, brown rice flour. Um, and then you cook that, stirring, free, stirring the whole time um, for a minute. And then you add half a cup of red wine and stir that for another couple of minutes. Now, wine is one point per ounce, so one half cup is gonna be four points. So I do know that part straight up off the top of my head. I know that that equals that amount. The potato, I don't know. Um, I'll have to calculate that one. And some of the sauces that are in here, like the, um, let's see, the tamari, I have no idea. So I'll have to figure that out. Anyways, so after you get the, water, the wine in there, you wanna add broth and tomato paste and bring it to a boil. And then add some more tamari and your TVP, which I'm using soy curls bay leaf, pepper, and salt, and cover and cook it on high for, or excuse me, on medium heat for 20 minutes. So that part's not too difficult. So I'm going to do, do those things, and let's see, let me tell you how much you add. So it's one cup of veggie broth, two tablespoons of tomato paste, I'm gonna put in two bay leaves, a quarter of a teaspoon of ground black pepper, I'm going to leave out the salt, but it says a quarter of a teaspoon. And then after you are done cooking that, you want to add in the peas at the end. So um, after your 20 minutes, it says to add, a, I think basically a bag of frozen peas. It says 10 ounces, I think. Oh no, one cup, one cup of frozen peas. Just dump in some frozen peas. You don't need to measure them, they're free and however much you want is just fine. And then cook it for another 10 minutes. And that's it, and you're gonna have vegetable beef stew. So I'm really excited about this. How much extra tamari did you need? Oh, you're supposed to add in one more tablespoon of tamari when you put in the, um, the water, the broth, and the tomato paste. I'm gonna go get this going because I need to get ready to go to work and all that good stuff. So um, I will let you guys know what this tastes like when it's done and show you what it looks like. I think it's gonna be fine. It looked beautiful on the picture, which yeah, my photography is never that awesome, but it looks really, really delicious. So I'm gonna hope that this one's gonna taste really good. So I'll see you guys in a little bit. Alrighty guys, so calculated it out, makes 12 points total. And it made two good sized bowls. Um, I'm gonna take both of them with me on the off chance that I can eat that much, I'm not 100% sure, but it basically has two carrots, a big potato, a little bit of uh, soy curls in it, um, some peas that I just obviously splashed in there, um, onion, so there's not like it's, I don't know, it's not like it's a ton, a ton of food, but it seems like a good healthy amount, and this smells wonderful, like, oh my gosh, this smells so good. Wasn't hard to put together, just kind of time consuming in terms of, um, you need a good hour to get this chopped, done, ready to go, and I'm pushing my luck trying to get ready for work. So. That's very good. So. Hmm, sticky. Um, 
It is very, very good. Potentially, you could consider leaving the wine out, dropping it down four points, and just adding in another half a cup of um, veggie broth. I actually used the Better Than Bouillon No Beef Broth because it's beef stew, that just made sense to me. Um, and just adding another, another half a cup of um, beef broth. No beef broth. Um, I, I think the wine gives it a little bit of a richness and that's probably what the Spanish part comes in because the rest of it's not really, I mean, there's not like there's a specific spice in there or something that you go, oh, well that's Spanish-y. Um, so maybe that's the wine part, but it is very good. I would totally make it again the way that it is. Although I would also consider making it without the wine if you were trying to cut the points down just a little bit more. Um, make it so you could eat more and have a few less points. That actually would work out really well. So I took, um, I have a little baggie with some gluten-free pretzels in it. They're vegan gluten-free pretzels. Anyway, there's 13 in there and that's four points. So I have two bowls of soup, which is 12 and that which is another four, so 16, and I'm going to have tea when I get to work. Maybe I'll skip the tea tonight because that would be 22 points already, and then if I get home in the morning and I'm hungry, then I won't have any points left. Of course, I could eat an apple or banana when I get home in the morning. Yeah, I'm just gonna have tea. I like tea. I'd rather not eat. I'd rather just have fruit in the morning if I'm going, that I'm gonna have a cup of tea. Mm -hmm. I am. Okay, anyways, I gotta go. It is um, time for me to leave for work, so I will talk to you guys again in the morning, and I hope you're having a great day. All right, guys, so food last night. Um, the pretzels were amazing because, yeah, they're awesome. I love glutino, gluten-free pretzels. They're so good. Um, and then I had my soup. I ate twice, and it was a little bit too much both times, so um, I would say that probably would have been three servings rather than two. And I picked out some of the potatoes and didn't eat them from either bowl because I'm not a huge fan of potatoes anyway. So it was just too much potato for me. Um, but it was very, very good. It was very filling. So I did not have a cup of tea. Total today I've had, that would be 16 points. 12 for the two bowls of soup, which is probably a little less because I didn't eat all the potatoes, but whatever. And um, four for the pretzels, so 16. And I'm going to have some food. I'm home and I am a little bit hungry. So I'm going to have something small to eat, which I think that I'm just going to have. Um, honestly, I think I'm going to eat a tablespoon of peanut butter. As random as that is, I think that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to just have a tablespoon of peanut butter. And I think a tablespoon of peanut butter is two and a half points. So I remember two tablespoons being five, I believe. So that's what I'm going to do. Just going to eat it right out of the container with a little tablespoon and just scoop some out. And yeah, that's what I'm going to do. So anyways, that's it for me for today, guys, and I will talk to you again tonight, and I hope you're having a good day.